What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today we got the Mossberg SA-28. Slight changes have been made. Stay tuned. Honkers. It's like as soon as we start filming, the honkers start flying. All right, so today we're gonna pattern the old Federal Custom Shop. You can see right here, it's got a pretty nice price tag upon it. This is, just to show what it is, this is the turkey load for the 28s. It's two and three quarter going 1100 feet per second. It's an ounce of eight shot, which I have a good feeling this is gonna pattern really good. Being eights, it's gonna have a lot of extra energy, so that's pretty exciting to see. But you can see on the Mossberg here, we made some, some modifications. Also, this is an unloaded firearm. Just saying that right now, bolts open. You can see I put a, the Picatinny rail that came with the gun on, and I put the AT3 arrow on, just until I can get a hollow sun with a Meadow Creek mount, and I'll take these off. Now, don't get me wrong, the, as it came, it, you could do it, you could shim it right to it. But with TSS and how tight these cores are in these guns, I think a reflex is really where you should be at. But it's all personal preference. There's no wrong way as long as you're killing turkeys ethically. But what we're going to do, we also have the Pattern Master Code Black Turkey 515 Constriction in the end of this gun. So we're going to put this through. We're going to shoot that left target at 40 yards. And we're going to see what this bad boy can do. It's kind of a small payload, an ounce of eights. Not a whole a hell of a lot there. We're gonna see what this thing can do at 40 yards. So let's slap this bad boy in here. We zeroed quick with bismuth loads in tight. So this is gonna be on paper. And then like we always say, zero with what you hunt with. So I'll probably zero off this pattern after. So let's get right to it. Let's shoot that left target. All right, so once again, Mossberg SA-28 Turkey Tactical. We got the Pattern Master Code Black Turkey 515. And we're shooting the Federal Custom Shop, Rob Roberts, 28 gauge, two and three quarter, ounce of eights, going 1,100 feet per second. So this should have some wallop on that target down there. So let's see what she does. Yeah, it shot way high le higher right, it looks like. All right, so like it, looks like, it looks like it shot high right. Once again, zero with what you hunt with. This is why. Let's go down, check it out. All right, so once again, that was the Rob Roberts Custom Federal TSS. Ounce of eight, so there's not a lot of shot in it. Out of the Pattern Master Code Black Turkey 515 and the Mossberg SA-28 Turkey Tactical. Let's see how it did. I do believe the core is right here, though. It's not good. <clears throat> All right, so I think the 515 with eights, I think it overconstricted it. Now, you're not going to have a ton on paper here because there's not a lot of shot. I mean, you could Google that and see how much in an ounce of eights you would get in a load. But you can see here the core shot high. I, I believe this is the core. But there is voids all throughout this pattern. And I think it's purely because you just don't have that much shot to really get a good pattern density at 40 yards with it. With that said, I mean, you got one in the brain, one in the spine, but that's not what we're looking for, guys. It's not the golden pellet like it was with lead. With TSS, you're looking for high density in your core and a really good uniform pattern. This ain't it. I mean, you got flyers down here, you got flyers over here, flyers over there. There's probably some flyers off the paper, but I think predominantly the whole load is on here. I just am not a big fan of these giant voids all throughout this pattern, especially when you break in the, the cost for the shells. Um, we looked, we couldn't find any nine shot. Even at NWTF, it was eights. I, I wish it was uh, a little bit bigger payload of nines for that price, but it is what it is. I, I think with the stock choke in that gun, bringing it out to 520, I think we could condense this a little bit. But either way, I don't think this load is uh, uh, my cup of tea. But you can see here, I mean, the performance always talks. 
this would be a good duck load, kind of. Still, I would just shoot nines, but it is what it is. So once again, that was a Mossberg SA-28 Turkey Tactical with Pattermaster Code Black Turkey 515 and Federal Custom Shop Rob Roberts TSS. It's an ounce of eights going 1,100 feet per second. And you can see, guys, there's not a lot in it. There's uh, not a lot good to say, but that's just one test. We have 10 shells to work with here, but you would think paying that much for a box of shells, they're regularly $100. You'd think you'd put a little bit more shot in there, but it is what it is. We'll get it shooting right in something. It's definitely gonna be a more open constriction, and I bet you we can get it hammering, but still to me, I'd rather have an ounce of three eighths, an ounce of five eighths and nines at, you know, half the price. So then again, you do get 10 shells. So really it's, it's not terrible, but it is a big chunk of change for that, but we'll get it hammering. So as always guys, we got a ton to film. We filmed 13 pattern tests yesterday. We're fixing to do seven today. We got a lot to do. So guys, as always, smash thumbs up button for your boys. Drop your comments below. Let us know what you thought of the load and what you think constriction will get this choke, or wow, will get this load hammering at 40 yards. Subscribe, turn your notification bells on and to all so you do not miss out on any of our pattern tests. We got tests dropping all the way to the 26th of March as of before filming today. So, and we got a tons more coming every week. So we're gonna be busy. So. Do not miss the content. Share these videos in all your turkey groups and let us know what you think. Because at the end of the day, everyone views a pattern differently. No one's wrong. It all, it all depends on how you hunt. Find the pattern that's perfect for your setup and roll with it. This one right here, not good for me. But that doesn't make it bad. Guys, this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. Check the merch down below. You can get hoodies and all that fun stuff. You can move the logos around. You got a lot of freedom to customize them how you want them. So check that out. But we got more to film. We'll catch you on the next one.